welcome to another episode today we will discuss facts devices up to now we have done a lot of work on DG but when we but there is a problem in implement implementation of DG when we increase our penetration up to 60% of the grid capacity then our voltages becomes over voltages our voltage profile increases from our upper acceptable range 1.05 per unit it will increase to this range and then we have to compensate these over voltages and we have a best solution by our facts devices so we are going to implement facts devices in this in this work so here is a introduction of work what we are going to do in this video later on I will answer some question from this from the MATLAB project I have make some question and then I will answer through MATLAB MATLAB code I will explain answers of these questions later on at the end of this video I will attach all the files in the video description so please hit the subscribe button so you will get all the upcoming explanation and MATLAB codes so let's get started so here we have case that we have choose that is IEEE 14 bus system and we have to compensate our excess voltages or over voltages by choosing suitable effects devices here we have take to optimization genetic algorithm and artificial B colony but in this video we are not going to explain the optimization and we have cases here without DG DG and third case is when we have implement DG and facts devices along with so here we have three cases case one two three and our results will be location and size of facts as well as DG and other two voltage deviation and power loss so case one that is without DG so let's run it so here we have regular losses reactive losses here you can also see that and this table is for real and reactive losses so let's take a look at the voltage profile now we have to open our DG case and let's run it using ABC let's then run ABC so there will be the question you can make one two three four any DG you want to select so let me select four so let's take a look at the questions so first question the, these questions are using genetic algorithm you don't take cost in your consideration so as I explain here so just a moment we have another objective function that is cost so first question is cost consideration so let me show you where I have included cost so actually we have so let's take a look at answer case 32 means our DG case so we have include our cost function into our DG case but in case 3 in our facts devices case we have not a data for reactive power so that's why we are not going to calculate its cause so let's let me show you cost for DG case so just a moment let me break it, let me break it. and uh, objective
objective function here we have so here we have a code where cause is cost is 10 so uh, let's take a look at a uh, next question output figure does not include the voltage at each bus so that is covered actually when the uh, complete MATLAB code will be executed then you can see the voltage profile at each bus so what is X let me run this program again So let me now show you G. So this is covered and next. So when this program will be executed, then uh, we have a uh, results just like it. This is for the DG case. This figure is just for the DG case. Here we have a x variable here. Here we have x variable. Here we have a location. In this figure, I have select three digits. So DG locations are here. First location, second DG location, third DG location. And then we have and then we have active powers. First DG active powers, second DG, third DG, and here we have reactive reactive powers of DGs accordingly. So here is DG capacity. First one is real and second one is reactive DG power. So if we include both these, then we can find our MVA capacity. Same figure will be get when program this MATLAB program will be executed. So let's wait for it while I will answer other questions. So where is the reactive power that DFIG can deliver? This point is not considered in both GA and ABC. So reactive power. So here is the answer. Still running. Where is the reactive power that DFIG can deliver? So reactive power results also included in this program. Here is the reactive power of DG is considered here. So next. What is X? X is actually this row that represent DG capacity in MVA. What is the objective function that you used in GA? So in genetic algorithm as I have in my intro, our objective function include all these. Location, size, power loss, voltage deviation and cost. So next question. What is the mean of negative sign in facts MVAR? When we will, when you will run the facts devices code, then you will get results in negative. So let me answer it. Here, the reactive power of DG is included both GA. When you will go through the objective function. So here is the in this image is the capacity of reactive power, but here in MATLAB code you can see here. Here is result and here is the inclusion. We include here. Negative sign means the voltage is rising above 1.05 percentage, so that's the problem. When our voltage increase 1.05 percentage, 1.05 per unit. Then we have to, we need to 
use shunt reactors to compensate voltages. So it's taking a lot of time. So let me run 30k specs devices. It will take less time. Just a moment. So let me show you anything else. So here are answers and questions. I will speak some I will I will skip between part so to make this video short. So here we have minus eight value fixed devices. That means What is the mean of negative sign in FEX MVAR and what is X? So let me show you. It means we are using FEX devices minus 8. So we need to compensate our, our voltages. So this is the MATLAB core. And uh, if you have any question, you can ask. Thanks for watching.